want to welcome everybody in. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to this week's cast of Revelation on the Word. I'm Pastor Rico Clayton. I'm with Greater Revelation Church, and we're located at 4473 Adams on Kansas City, Kansas size. Welcome everybody in. Y'all come on in here. Holler with your boy. Give me a couple of minutes. I got some stuff I want to talk about. Then I got to get out of here because I'm getting ready for work as usual. Uh, thank you all, those that are sending it out on Facebook, Periscope, all the social sites, trying to get it out on social media. I really, really deeply appreciate it. But uh, I just want to talk about some things real quick, and uh, we'll get it, get it, get it in, and get gone. Amen. Somebody, listen to this. Sometimes we gotta admit when the problem's us. And a lot of times, you know, we are uh, quick to criticize. We're quick to point fingers. We're quick to say uh you know this happened because of this and that and really the problem's really you and um all throughout scripture you see where uh people of god or men of god women of god were doing things for god and then the issue ended up being something that they did or something that was self-inflicted and we have to admit you know when we're wrong and be man enough man up enough to say not only i'm sorry i was wrong but repent and really mean it y'all understand what i'm trying to say and uh, we just got to be able to do it. Uh, nothing wrong with it. So many marriages can be saved just by saying I'm sorry. So many things could be fixed because of saying, man, it was me. Uh, but in most cases, we live in such a society now where, you know, nobody wants to admit wrongdoing. No one wants to admit that, hey, you know what? You know, I do mess up. Man, the devil jumped in me too. You know, or I said some stuff I shouldn't have said. That was wrong, man. That was carnal. You know, so we have to be on top of those kind of things. Let me give you some revelation on the word. The gospel according to Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 says, If you have an ought with your brother, pull him away privately and tell him, Look, man, you offended me since you did this to me, and I didn't like it. And if you do that alone, you've won a brother. That is, if they listen. In most cases, people don't want to admit they're wrong. But if they do, you've won them. If not... Give them a second chance, take somebody with you, try to rectify the situation. Now, after the second situation, they still reject it. Look, you know, now it's time to really, you know, turn it over. I mean, you're going before everybody with it, and uh, it needs to be dealt with. And if not, then, of course, you kind of wash your hands of that situation. But I just believe everybody deserves, you know, to be heard. I think everybody needs to, deserves to, uh, to have a chance to redeem themselves. So um, it was on my heart, you know. As a pastor, you know, dealing with a lot, you know, we got to be able to say, you know, even if it's you, pastor, uh, I was wrong and man up to it and, and really, really sincerely mean it and hope that uh, you can win whomever it is that was offended back. Uh, that's all I got for you this week. That's my cast. I'm kind of like in a chill mode this week. Uh, I love y'all. See you next week. Bye for now. Thanks for listening.